Ashland, Oregon. It's a breathtaking city that's culturally sophisticated, yet it also has one of the lowest vaccination rates in the country. Cara Franz is a midwife here. She says she didn't vaccinate her kids, but supports others that do. I promote education and I, I encourage them to highly educate themselves around the subject matter and to be open-minded to all ends of the spectrum and to really come up with their own educated decisions with what resonates with them. Vaccination is one of the biggest public health achievements in modern history. It currently prevents two to three million deaths a year. But a growing complacency towards vaccinating is threatening to reverse the progress made in tackling vaccine-preventable diseases. Here in the US, anti-vaccination sentiment is growing. Certainly in America, as, as in many countries, we really value autonomy and individual choice. But the decision for a family to make a risky uh, intervention on their child to defer vaccinations shouldn't impact on the risk and um, health of all the, of the rest of the community. The American Pediatrics Association says that misinformation is one of the biggest challenges in encouraging people to vaccinate. If you're not seeing the diseases like physicians are seeing, the active diseases like tetanus and measles, then parents are looking at the risks of small side effects and in their mind that outweighs the possible benefit of a disease they've never seen. Like many issues in the US, the vaccine debate asks how to balance individual choice with the role of government. Current Oregon law allows parents who don't want to vaccinate their children to claim a non-medical exemption. But a bill to make vaccinations compulsory has cleared the House its first political hurdle. The aim is to boost the state's immunity rate. Mary Alona says she'll have to move state or country if the bill becomes law. I have a business, I employ a lot of people, I have a storefront, I have a farm. I would have to either have my children be pariahs in their state or leave. Sabrina McNeil believes in vaccinations, but she's concerned she'll be vilified in Ashland for sharing her views. I also uh, trust my pediatrician and what he tells me. I believe that he has the, the scientific backing for vaccines. I believe he understands the risks of not being vaccinated because he has experience as a doctor in these illnesses, with these illnesses. A majority of Americans support vaccinations. People in Ashland say they just want to choose what's best for their children. But some lawmakers say they have a duty of care, not to some but to all children, and must do what's ultimately best for the health of the public. Sally Ihan, TRT World, Ashland, Oregon.